Hi, hi, it's Judy. Welcome to the Live Best Kitchen. I'm Judy Barb, the author of your six-week guide to Live Best, Simple Solutions for Fresh Food and Well-Being, and I'm a registered dietitian. You know, I found that in my work as a nutrition educator that small steps really do work better when trying to implement healthier behaviors. Small steps just make, make it more manageable. It gives your, your brain time to adapt, gives your body time to adapt, gives your taste buds, taste buds time to adapt if you're trying to eat different foods and, and in, improve the food that you're eating and try to eat more healthy. And um, so I think that's kind of apropos for what I want to make today, which is everything spice blend or everything seasoning. You've probably heard of everything spice bagels, and um, that's what I want to make today. And what's interesting about the recipe is on their own, the ingredients are okay, they add flavor, but when you mix them together, that's when the magic happens. And that's kind of like with the small steps. I think when you add them together exponentially, that's when the magic happens. When you continue to eat more of the good stuff you're trying to eat more of, or when you're trying to get more physical activity, and you do that over time, it, they come together and, and make things better. So that's what we're doing with the Everything Spice Blend. So in a jar, I like to just mix it up in a jar because then I can sprinkle it on the food that I want to, to use the Everything Spice Blend on. <clears throat> and in the jar here, I have um, four tablespoons or a quarter of a cup of toasted sesame seeds. When you toast the sesame seeds, uh, about 325 degrees for, oh, maybe eight minutes, it really amplifies the flavor. So good to toast those. I'm gonna bring this camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, um, so I like to use these rectangular measuring spoons. They fit into spice jars better than the round ones. So that's my preferred tool right now when I'm measuring. Okay, so four tablespoons of sesame seeds, and now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of poppy seeds. I usually buy my poppy seeds or my um, seeds and nuts in bulk. So I have these in a bag. You can find them in the spice section at the grocery store too. But I want three of those poppy seeds. So we've got four tablespoons of um, sesame and three of poppy in the jar. And now I'm going to add some dried garlic and dried onion. And I need two teaspoons of minced dried onion. And it's dried because this is a shelf stable, so we want to make sure we're using not fresh but dried. So two teaspoons of the dried. And one teaspoon of the garlic. Now if you really like garlic flavoring, you can add more. I tend to go a little bit light on the garlic. And then I need some salt. And I'm, use, I'm using a, a flaky sea salt. I like this Malden brand um, sea salt flakes. <clears throat> you could also use a, a coarser, like a kosher salt. But you don't want to use just table salt because you want the flakiness or the coarseness of, of salt. And for the salt, I need two teaspoons of salt. There you go. So super simple to make this. Um, I think to me it's a lot easier and less expensive than buying your own uh, spice blend. But look how, how nice that is. I actually gave this um, for some Christmas gifts this past year. In fact, I put it in a little jar, little weck jar like this, sealed that up and made that as a, as a gift. But people often need help with what to put it on. And so I eat a hard boiled egg almost every morning for breakfast with a sprinkle of this. Also good on scrambled eggs or however you fix your eggs. These are a nice flavoring for that. Really delicious on popcorn. It's good sprinkled over a baked fish. Um, it's nice on salads. It's nice in hummus, if you're blending up your own hummus. Great, sprinkled over baked potatoes or roasted vegetables. Or one of my very favorite ways to use it is on avocado toast. 
So I just sprinkle it right over my avocado toast. And it's super yummy. So um, you can find the recipe at livebest.info if you didn't get that in, in the um, in the ingredients I was using. But um, this lasts for months. If it lasts that long, it will keep for months. So thanks for stopping by and see you next time.